friends welcome back it is queen of queen she me and today i have another chat with queen video for you guys and i guess it's kind of like a story time i just kind of wanted to come on here and just talk but i was trying to think about what i wanted to come on here and share with you guys about and i've been trying to be a little bit more open about myself and like where i come from my background and pretty much in a sense um how i came to be the woman that i am today and today's story i'm going to be sharing with you guys pretty much my coming out story pretty much how i came out to my mom that you know i like girls and i know probably you guys do know if you follow me on instagram that me and my girlfriend Alyssa have now been together almost eight years this november 7th will be eight years of being together you guys and it has been a journey and no she is not my first girlfriend um at all <laughs> you guys and she was not my first experience as well um just a little background on me and my family my family or my family is very religious i should say not religious to the point to where they're closed-minded or anything like that but i should say it's kind of interesting the dynamics of our family because it's kind of like we have like the old schoolers i guess like how new age people like to say they like to call them old school or whatever but i like to say baby boomers because that's pretty much like the era that they was born in you guys know pretty much like the baby boomers come from the 50s and so my mom she was born during the 50s and it was a total of 10 of them um five blood and then five of them her step brothers and sisters and my grandmother is um one of 13 children so yeah so like my family was like pretty big like it's a whole bunch of cousins it's a whole lot of us actually <laughs> and i'm not the only one um, my cousin she is a pansexual and um yeah and i'm pretty sure there's other people in our family as well um back to my story so pretty much for me i always knew that i liked both sexes i i, I was always comfortable from, with that even before we moved to florida from california in 99 i was always comfortable with that I never felt like it was a bad thing or a right thing or anything like that. It was just a feeling that I always had since I was a kid. And um, I had always been into girls. But I guess like girls are kind of like, you know, like hanging out and stuff like that. You know, naturally guys, you know, because girls like guys. I mean, come on, like girls and boys, boys and girls. And so it really wasn't until we moved here um, years later. And actually, even before we moved here, I it was confirmed that I did like girls. And I'm not going to go into depth about all that and everything and stuff. Because I was at a young age, but surprisingly enough, I was able to understand and comprehend my emotions and everything like that. And I was very understanding. And plus, too, when you live out in California, the culture is completely different than the South. I just have to say that, too, as well. Because the South, quite frankly, is like black and white. And it's super duper old school. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. Whereas on the West Coast, it's really like laid back you know not as strict you know and everything like that not super super like tradition like and so growing up even when we moved here in Florida I always still had that feeling of liking girls I mean you know whatever and actually growing up too I had a couple of friends who um, were actually like how I was you know it was like bisexual you know and because back then I understood you know that I did like again both boys and girls but I was not the type of where I'm going to be sleeping with both sexes honey no that is not that kind of deal over here like that is not what I'm advocating that's not what I'm about like you're either going to be one or the other like don't be playing those games because like you play with other people's lives and you play with your health and your life as well so no I just had to put that out there as well so I probably was in like the 10th grade I think and me I'm just the type of person where I just I've always had the attitude of where I just don't give a fuck and it's not like in a mean way or anything like that but I've always been the type to where you know like if I had if I have a feeling or if this is just how I feel this is just me then like I'm, I don't feel like I should have to change for anybody and my mom she was never the type to bash anybody and again we went to church every Sunday. I was in the choir. I mean, did everything under the sun. I mean, it was in the sunshine band, red circle. I mean, we've always been involved in the church. So it wasn't I didn't know God. It wasn't I didn't know the scripture. It wasn't that I didn't know that, you know, naturally that, you know, that, you know, people, you know, they really don't want you to be dating the same sex because, you know, it's a sin, you know, towards God, you know, and everything like that. 
but my mom and just even the church that we went to too they never like bashed anybody i should say but it was just you know like one of those unspoken things that people just don't talk about you know people you know how especially in the african-american community we like to sweep things under the rug we try to put our blinders up and act like we don't see it or we just try to act like we don't even have any kind of knowledge of it because for the most part parents already know that their kids are gay or maybe curious or maybe a little weird i'm not even weird i, I don't even like to use that word I shouldn't have said that not weird but maybe different different is a better word to use not weird and um for me when when I decided to come out to my mom it wasn't like I had a fear it wasn't like a second guess it wasn't nothing it was just like okay like <laughs> this is what it is and you know and so um and I knew then at that time like I said back then I was um, identifying as a bisexual again dating men and women and so um one day <laughs> I had this friend we had been working together for some time and I was I had already left that job so I was already gone but she was still there and so um we had been vibing and hanging out and kicking and stuff like that and so she had asked to take me out on a date and so me the type of teenager that I was I was allowed to drive so I felt it only right and respectable to my mom where I was going like I always do like I'm not gonna lie to my mom about where I'm going just because it's a girl I didn't feel I, I just couldn't comprehend that like, I'm not gonna lie to my mom about going on a date and I'm going with a girl like like either she's gonna be upset and cry about it or she's gonna accept me for who I am and that's literally the thought that I had like I wasn't I wasn't nervous or anything and so like I always do, I went and knocked on my mom's room door and I was like, Mom, I'm just to get ready to go. And she was like, oh, she was like, you, you know, you, you're on your way out. She was like, where are you going? And, um, so she had forgot her. I told her I was going somewhere, but I was just reminding her. And, um, I was telling her, I said, well, I'm going on a date with a friend. And she was like, oh, what friend? Cause my mom, my mom was very nice and she likes to meet people that we, I dated anyways. So my brother, he didn't really date that, not to my knowledge, I may be wrong. And, um, Again, like I stated, she asked, you know, oh, your friend? She's like, oh, who's your friend? So, you know, I just told her. I was like, well, you know, the girl I used to work with, you know, and gave a description of her and everything like that. And she looked at me, and it wasn't like a look of disgust, and it wasn't like a look of shame. I guess it was just more so, more so a look of shock, because I don't think my mom expected that. And one, I've always been a girly girl. Like, I've always been a girly girl down to my fucking core. Like, I hate bugs. I like to be outdoors, surprisingly enough. Um... Out, I'm outgoing, I'm very, you know, boisterous in my opinions, you know, and everything like that. And I'm just very forward thinking. I'm not a closed minded person. I've always been open to learning new things. And so, my mom, <laughs> the look on her face, and so I guess. I was start. I guess I was laughing, and, I, and probably not thinking about it. that was just my form of nervousness back then. Cause I guess I was just laughing because I was nervous. But I just had it in me to tell her, you know. I was just like, "Well, mom, I was like, I'm going on a date with a girl," and she was just kind of like, "Okay," you know. And she was like, "Really, Esther?" And I was just like, and "That's how my mom does when she, when something that hit her." She was like, "Really, Esther?" And I was just like, "Yes, mom." I was like, "Please," I was like, "Please don't judge me." That's the first thing I said. I said, "Please." don't judge me I said because you've lived your life I said and I'm just trying to live mine I said you know and I said this is what I want and I said I know this is what I am and I said and I'm comfortable with that and I said I've been comfortable with this force quite some time I just told her straight up y'all like I'm not the type of sugar coat I'm just gonna tell you and think then I was only like 16 17 years old having this conversation with my mom again she's a single parent black woman raising two children that she has moved from one coast to the next coast and then all of a sudden one day her daughter comes up to her and says that she's Okay. So yes, I'm pretty sure that can be some form of shocking because to my mom is again from the old school, so you know, naturally very traditional, you know, with man with woman and woman with man, you know, and everything like that. But my mom was not rude. She was not disrespectful in no way, shape, or form. I just think she was initially just shocked. And I think for any parent they would be too, because I think too for parents they just always have this idea of their kids being married, you know, and having grandkids, and then you know. That's just a picture. That's just a typical picture that has just been painted for everybody. And so when a child comes up to their parent, you know, I guess blindsiding them with the idea, and well, not even the idea, but the fact that they are gay, you know, and that they are attracted to the same sex, you know, that it kind of takes them back a little bit. And so for me, I guess.
guess in telling my mom that, it, I guess it was just my way of trying to comfort her. Because I just didn't want her to feel like she was losing her daughter or she was going to lose out on the opportunity of having grandkids. Because I know that's what my mom was thinking, y'all. So when you know your parents, you should be able to know how to approach them. And if you aren't comfortable in approaching your parents quite yet, just wait. Just wait. And then the time will present itself to where you can open up and come to them saying to them that, you know, mom, this is who I am. I like the same sex or I like transgender or non-binary or non-gender or whatever term you want to put to it because there's a lot of terms floating out here you guys and for me it just it just took like this big relief off of my shoulders it kind of I guess was the real point to where I really started identifying with who I was as a person because again in high school and in middle school you try to follow along with the crowds you know with your friends and stuff like that and everything and so forth but for my other friends I think for them this feeling had just came about see but for me I have been feeling this way since I was a little girl so see that was about I was about six seven years old so 10 years later when I was 16 17 telling my mom I didn't feel weird I didn't feel any different about it. I didn't feel shameful about it or anything because I just knew down to my core and my heart that that's who I was and so and that's when my mom asked me you know well you're not sleeping with both sex at the same time I was like no mom I'm not I don't get down like that like that's not cool at all and so I think that just put her mind at ease because too with the LGBTQ community it's just it's just a lot going on, you know, and, and then too with the idea that people don't protect themselves while, you know, having sex and everything like that. And it's very important, you know, and so I just feel like just having that conversation with my mom just helped with just getting over that hurdle, I guess, of holding a secret. And it just felt like I was just holding a secret and I'm not a secretive person whatsoever. I don't like to keep secrets from people and that's why I just like to tell people just straight up like what it is. And so after I told my mom, like, she told me she cried and um i su suspect she did cry because the next day she just you know kind of just seemed like she was still milling over it milling over it and i was just like you know i was like mom I, was like, I just don't need you to be upset i'm like i don't need your opinion to change about me just because you see me with a woman or you see me with a guy like i'm still your daughter i'm still esther i'm still smart i'm still intelligent i'm still bright i'm still smart i'm still gonna be here and everything of that sense now i'm not gonna lie i i asked my mom eventually down the line you know like if she thought i was gonna go to hell and everything like that because again we grew up I'm, and i'm still christian to this day and i pray and my faith and belief is in god you know and so I just felt I needed to ask my mom the question of, you know, did she feel like I was going to go to hell because of my sexual preference? And I did. I literally asked her that square in the eye. And she was like, baby, no. She was like, I don't think you're going to go to hell just because of who you decide to love. And when mom said it plain as English, just, just as soft and gentle as she always is, it just really put my mind at ease. And I guess I shouldn't be trying to find validation through my mom and putting my mind at ease. I should be going to God. But I just even felt like with God too I had that peace in that and, that, and I just had that peace and I just knew that I had already had established that with God. So I guess too, you know, you just want your mom to still be your mom. You don't want your mom to treat you any different. So when I asked her that, you know, she was just like, no, you know, and I guess for me it was more um, putting me at ease again because my mom's very religious, y'all. Like, she was my Sunday school teacher. We went to church every Sunday. Prayers, prayer meeting, choir rehearsal. I mean, everything. So, like, naturally, when you grow up in a very religious household, you know, and then you decide to tell your parents that you like the same sex, that can be a lot. That can be pretty overwhelming. But I feel, depending on your relationship with your parents and your relationship with God as well, um, it will help you to be able to have that opportunity to where you're able to sit down and have a conversation with your parents your loved one or whoever you're deciding to have this conversation with and i find that a lot of people keep this secret because they're so afraid of people judging them and i think now with it being 2018 a lot of people are really open up to you know people being in the same sex same marriages and everything of that nature and it's not like how it was 10 20 years ago where people was kind of like really shaming and bashing people and they still do to this day don't get me wrong but back in the day it was really hard for those who were really you know pretty much putting their neck out there to just be who they are and to open up 
the doors for those who are to come after them with wanting to just be who they are as well and so um yeah so after that you guys yeah i came out to my mom and everything like that and we were still really really close you know and everything and nothing changed i have to honestly say nothing changed and i'm so happy about that because i know some people have had again some really bad occurrences with their family and their loved ones where they come out to them and it just is the complete opposite and graciously enough that was not the case for me you guys my friends were accepting of it and quite frankly i'm just gonna say it right here i didn't give a fuck if they wasn't a priest you know on the bandwagon with because at the end of the day this is my life and i choose my happiness and if i choose to be with a man or a woman then that's what it is now present day 2018 no i am not bisexual i am i guess what you would put as a lesbian because i do date women and i don't date women i don't only been with the same girl for the last eight years y'all but um yeah seriously though like that's just really what it was like i just really just i just woke up one day and it just happened to just come out like that and my friend she again asked me to go on a date with her and i said well i guess today is going to be the day i was like because i'm not going to lie to my mom about where i'm going in her truck and i can tell her everywhere else i'm going underneath the moon the stars and who i'm going to visit so why am i going to lie about going to hang out with a female just because we have an interest in each other it just didn't make any sense so i guess my advice again to those of you who are you know thinking about coming out you know or wanting to confide in a friend about it do so really think about it pray about it and do it when you are comfortable don't let people pressure you into coming out to your family your friends or whoever even your job people on your job can be pretty harsh about it too so you know just be mindful of it because again you know it's all about energy exchanging energy and then about your emotions as well and you don't want people to just be really just coming for you just because of who you're trying to be and who you're wanting to be and who you are anyway it's not about what you're trying to be it's just who you are as a person down to your core and you're just trying to be happy and if being with someone who is the same sex or again who is transgender or doesn't identify as whatever you need to just be happy and at the end of the day your happiness is what matters because i guarantee you the man and the woman who's laid up together at home that does not necessarily mean that they're in a happy household as well and that's how i look at it because Again, people want to judge because you're sleeping with the same sex. And that's all people ever want to look at is just the sexual part of it. Like, it's so much more than just sex, you guys. Like, damn, like, it's not that deep. Like, love is love. And if you start looking at people through love and stop looking at people as just trying to get sex out of them and what kind of sex it is and this and that, it would really change people's mindsets and their um, focal point on the um, point of people just wanting to live their lives and be gay, be happy. I mean, damn, that's really and truly what it is. And so for me, ever since then, you guys, it was just... It was just good, you know. I mean, me and my mom were still the same, you know, and everything like that. I mean, naturally, yes, it took a little time for her to get used to me, you know, being with girls, you know, and then she would see me with guys and stuff like that. But once I met Alexa, you know, I had just, I just knew, I was like, that's like, this is my baby. Like, I'm not going to be with nobody else. Like, this is what it is, you know, and I love her, you know, and... That's what it is, y'all. And it's just one of those decisions that you just have to make, just like any other decisions that you make in your life, you know, on whether or not you want to be happy or not. I'm looking out the window because it's black as hell outside. Baby's not coming home yet, and it's about to fucking storm. Like, for real. It's about to get down outside. It looks nasty. And, y'all, my coming out story, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty much just... You know, I just I just had to tell my mom, you know, and I just didn't feel right just lying to her. Like, it was no need to. It was just like, if I can come to you about everything else that I'm doing, I can come to you about this, I feel. And my mom has never been the type to where we could not come and talk to her about stuff. My mom always made it very clear, and she wanted us to come and talk to her because, and I feel like that's very good for a parent as well, for their, for wanting your children to come and talk to you first versus going to someone else out in the street somewhere because sometimes other people will give you some bad-ass advice or sometimes they'll just really just not be 
all the best for you so if your parents is someone where you can talk to them about pretty much anything underneath the sun and pretty much you can confide in them you know without them being super judgy judgy um i would definitely confide in your parents i would definitely talk to them you know about how you're feeling the emotions that you're having you know and if you are and you know for sure that you know you like the same sex be comfortable with that and own that shit like fuck that like there's people out here doing tons of bad shit and they are owning it to the day that they die literally so own who you love own yourself own your truth own your life don't let other people control your life for you because i know a lot of people will live this secretive life this uh, this second lifestyle you know or down low when there's no need to and i don't like to use that term down low because i feel it's always geared towards men and let's just be real it's some down low women as well it really is you know so just be mindful of that you know own your truth own your happiness own your life because this is the only human life that you have i should say because we are spiritual beings having a human experience like i always say because it is true and be happy be present enjoy the moment love who you love honey and just remember that God is love and I don't feel like God put us all here to just feel like we can't love who it is that we love because like I say like if Alexa wasn't a woman I would truly do believe that I would still love her as a man because it's just her spirit that I'm in love with it's just so much deeper than just the physical and once you get past that too when you find a love or if you know that love is deeper than the physical you appreciate life that much more okay you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed my coming out story i'm grateful and i'm blessed enough to where it wasn't like a bad coming out experience because a lot of people again go through a hardship when they go when they are coming out to their friends and family because some people are not receptive to it and some people will literally turn their backs on you just because of your lifestyle okay so I love you guys so, 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 so much. If you know someone who is struggling with, you know, their sexuality, you know, or even just wanting to come out to their relatives and loved ones, please share this video with them, you guys, because I hope it will just be a form of encouragement. And again, go to God and everything, you guys. Pray first, and then when the moment is right, you will know. And just live your life and be happy, honey. Enjoy it. <laughs> All right, queens. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, queens.